It's a wonderful thing. It speaks for itself. So much for meetings on Zoom. J.P. Morgan Chase Chairman and CEO Jamie Dimon says he hopes this beautiful office space in the heart of Midtown will entice more workers to ditch their living rooms this is good stuff. and be part of the city's comeback. The best building in the best city in the best country in the world. Governor Kathy Hochul and Mayor Eric Adams joined Dimon and construction workers on Park Avenue Monday morning to raise the final steel beam to this new building. Governor Hochul says it's sending a clear message. What an exciting day for New York. All these hardworking members of the union work day and night to make this day happen. And Jamie Dimon and J.P. Morgan Chase are here to stay. 4.7 million jobs. They did not think we can come back. Never bet against New York. Congratulations, J.P. Morgan. The building was planned before the pandemic and is the first project to take advantage of new height rules under the Midtown East rezoning. It has inspired others to build too, says Mike Castillo, director of safety here. I've never seen construction like this in my entire career while I'm doing this, and it's been over 20 years. According to a study commissioned by J.P. Morgan Chase, the firm generates almost $30 billion in annual economic activity to New York City. It's also a green building. It's all electric from hydro sources and super energy efficient glass. A total of 2,500 workers will have worked on it by the time it is said and done. We are just so proud of what the beautiful thing you built. And Diamond says he's going to have a barbecue for all the construction workers that built this and their families when it opens in 2025. On Park Avenue in Midtown, Monica Morales, Fix 11 News.